Stockholm is well known, greatly admired all over the world for style, for sustainability, for openness as a public servant there. Looking back on the last decade, what are the greatest achievements in your mind Stockholm has, has had or is having? It's a fantastic time because Stockholm is growing um, so rapidly, one of the fastest growing cities in, in Europe. We are continuously gro growing. We are, a lot of people are, are starting businesses. It's, it's a very uh, innovative, creative uh, city. That's a big change if you compare it to uh, 10, 15 years ago. Is that growth because Swedes, Stockholmers are having more children or because more people are coming to Stockholm? Both. More people are coming to Stockholm. Uh, the Stockholmers who, who actually have children, they stay in the city. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. used to move away from the city before. What do you think Stockholm is doing right to attract the people and keep the people there? And I don't know exactly the answer of that, of course. But, but I think that uh, one reason is that, that why we have, we have quite a lot of very, very interesting companies and interesting jobs in mm. Stockholm. And if you combine that with the, uh, the city overall, a lot of good restaurants, good uh, um, entertainment, and the closeness to nature, both the green part of Stockholm and the water, I think that this is a combination of, of all these kind of things. Uh, and um, that's really what attracts people to move to the city. In terms of government, of the programs you've been involved with, which ones do you think are most successful and perhaps models for other cities around the world to think about? To develop the, uh, the city in a, in a sustainable way is very important. One of the reasons why we have such a good situation today with the growing ICT industry is that we actually uh, developed a uh, network broadband system uh, in Stockholm in the mid-1990s. And that is a network, that's fiber network that actually is open for um, whoever wants to hire capacity. And that has, that, that's one re important reason why we have the situation with a uh, booming ICT industry with a lot of new, new starting companies, companies like DICE, Spotify. Uh, Spotify. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I think you touched on something that you were speaking about earlier. Or the whole story of when the city of Stockholm actually put in the information communication spine in Stockholm. I, it would be really interesting, I think, for me, for anybody who sees our study, to understand how you did it how it didn't cost the citizens of Stockholm anything. I was actually vice chairman of the company then mm -hmm. uh, when we discussed how to develop the business idea mm -hmm. because there was part of, of an existing network, a cable network that right. actually were developed into a, a fiber network. We actually um, thought that it was in, uh, important to see to that small companies that couldn't afford to do the investment to actually um, develop uh, a system that they actually could hire the, exactly the capacity that they needed in order to develop their business ideas. Mm -hmm. uh, so that led to, that was why Stockholm actually in the late 1990s was very, very hype, with, talking about IT development because this actually attracts quite a lot of companies, not only from, from Sweden, but also from different other parts of, of, uh, of the world. And um, uh, since then, we have continued to, to, uh, to uh, develop the system, and today it actually covers more than 90% of all the, the uh, houses and real estates in, in the Stockholm area. All the schools are connected to the infrastructure and um, most of the businesses as well. And they, they have a high capacity that's more 1,000 megabit per second. And this is one important reason why we have seen the development re regarding uh, businesses during the last years, I think. So in this case, the public investment in infrastructure drove the health of the economy. Yeah, uh, and we didn't use any taxpayers' money because the, we actually did the investment in order to uh, that 
it should be affordable. So it grew organically yeah. and then it became a, a, a revenue engine as well for the city. Yeah. Do you think investment in infrastructure drives growth or growth comes and then you invest in infrastructure? Do you see which is cause and effect? I think that the infrastructure, investment in infrastructure is very important in, in, order, in order to get growth. What are your biggest objectives to improve? If you could do one thing in your current term, what would you really want to see be better? One part is that we can actually use the uh, tools that we have today in order to develop the educations in schools. Mm -hmm. Because we have the uh, uh, entertainment industry. If you can use, for example, uh, Battlefield or Mojang uh, uh, as, a, as a tool in education, that could actually lead to that you can develop uh, innovations within the education system as well, something that you haven't had uh, before because uh, uh, I think that you have to have different angle uh, when you are teaching people today, young people that, that are used to having using uh, uh, smartphones and uh, ITC is around them, and then you have to so have something in the education that actually connects to that. Mm -hmm. And that might, might be one way of attracting more people to uh, learn mathematics or physics and so on.